Hello and welcome to this webinar on using European C for effective literature research. My name is Diane Araujo and I'm part of the team working at Europe PMC. And I am here today with my colleague, Mike Parkin, who will be answering your questions in the chat box. We hope this webinar will help you to make your daily literature search routine more efficient and less time consuming. Today we'll start with an overview of what content is accessible in Europe MC. This way you will know exactly what you are looking for on the website. We will guide you through the many features Europe MC provides, starting from a simple um, starting from a simple topic search and then showing how to organize the search results, how to sort them and apply filters. You will also learn how to find a specific paper using a unique identifier or citation information and then move on to author search and other advanced searches. At the end of this webinar, you should also be able to easily locate underlying data and evidence within a publication. We will begin with a brief introduction to Europe PMC. Europe PMC uh, it's a free global database of life science uh, research literature. We are based at the European Bioinformatics Institute, EMBO EBI, and we are supported by 31 research, research funders. We are partner in the PubMed Central International Archive Network and share full text content with PubMed Central at the National Library of Medicine in the USA. Europe PMC has content from different sources. Uh, the content can be split into peer-reviewed publications, preprints, which are full-text publications prior to journal organized peer re reveal. Uh, preprints in Europe PMC are from different servers like BioArchive, ChemArchive, MedArchive, uh, preprints.org and others. There are also other sources like patents from European Patent Office, clinical guidelines, books, PhD theses, and so on. Europe MC has different availability of metadata and full text. It counts with over 33 million abstracts of those. 5.6 million are available as full text and can be assessed for, for text mining purpose and so on. There's also a subset of full text that are hosted externally via unpaywall. You might be wondering, how is Europe PMC different from PubMed or PubMed Central? When you search in PubMed, you will query only the abstract, and when you search PubMed Central, you will query only the full text. In European, Europe MC offers you a combined search. So every keyword search queries the full text as well as abstracts. On top of this, uh, there are other data, uh, other data available in Europe MC that go along with the article. Europe MC provides citation network connections and data crosslinks, which are citations to biological data hosted in other da databases. And there's also text mining annotations available, information about author IDs called ORCIDs and also biomedical grants. So now uh, let's uh, find articles using a basic keyword search. You can now see uh, Europe MC homepage where we have typed in a search using four separate, separate keywords uh, of interest. P53, that's a gene, mutation, DNA, and damage. In Europe PMC, you can add uh, syn uh, synonyms uh, to your search. Uh, we use MESH or medical subject headings vocabulary to determine uh, synonymous words and phrases. This specialized um, resource describes biomedical concepts and improves your search by, account by accounting for variations in language. For example, 
B53 translates to oncoprotein B53, TRP53 protein, to, uh, B53 tumor suppressor, and so on. So how do uh, you add synonym, synonyms to your search? You can turn synonyms on or off by selecting one of the filters in the advanced uh, search page. Once in the advanced search page, you can scroll down to find, to find filters and switch on synonym query expansion. Uh, the example here shows, uh, highlighted in green, that your search result now includes uh, articles dimensions TRP53 instead of P53. Um, your search results, it's uh, also expanded in other ways. For example, a query for P53 mutation will include the terms mutations, mutated and mutational, and this happens automatically and switching uh, synonyms on or off will not affect this. Uh, in addition, uh, the way the search works uh, is that it matches individual keywords in the document, but it's not sensitive to the distance between them. So P53 might be found in the introduction, mutation in the methods, and DNA damage in the conclusion. So uh, if you want to match, uh, match the word or phrase exactly, uh, we would suggest put it in double quotes when you search. This way, uh, the search will return only articles where P53 mutation appears as a phrase. In the same way, uh, the any of the search engine, EuroPMC uh, search, um, search use Boolean's logic. Uh, Boolean search use uh, so-called logic operators, the and or not to combine the keywords. Your keywords in the search are automatically combined using and operator. So you type your keywords into the search bar and behind the scenes, uh, your search is transformed with a proper syntax, syntax like P53. Um, and mutation and DNA and uh, damage. Um, uh, you will also need to use, uh, oh, sorry. You will also, uh, you will also need to use um, bra um, brackets to group different keywords. This way keywords will um, be processed as a unity. Uh, you can see in this uh, example, you will search uh, for documents that contain words P53 and mutation, but do not contain either word DNA or the word damage. Um, so uh, when uh, so the previous search, you will see that it returns over 3,000 results. So you can imagine yourself making use of all of these publications. I imagine it would be quite hard, right? So now let's move on to sorting and filtering these uh, search results. Uh, when you search in Europe PMC, uh, all, all the records found are presented in this way. So the number of search results is, is shown uh, at the top of the list along in a drop and doll labeled sort by. So um, the sort uh, the sort applied to the search uh, results, it, uh, it's highlighted and defaults to date received. Uh, if you have a regular regular top topic that you search for uh, sorted by date received, we show the articles they are new on Europe PMC at the top of the search uh, results. Uh, you can also sort your results by relevance. So uh, in relevance sorting, a score is assigned to a record based on the frequency uh, with which the search terms is found. So hard words are weighted higher than common ones 
and stop words like and or and are uh, and they are again ignored. Uh, a weight, uh, weight need factor is also applied um, based on publication's date. So newer documents are most likely to appear higher in this uh, result list. Uh, however, you also uh, can be interested in find only uh, uh, you can only uh, new or uh, older publications. So you can sort by date to find the newest one and um, sorting by date publish uh, recent or alternatively you can also view uh, the records in ascending date order and for example you can see here this uh, article from 1983 uh, showing like the oldest uh, publications first you might also want to identify the most impactful articles in your search. Uh, for that, you can use the option to sort search results by the number of times the publication has been cited. So the time cited sort uh, shows the most highly cited articles listed in descending order. The number of citations per paper in Europe PMC might be a little lower than the counts in Scopus Web of Science because we do not have access to the same range of content as these resources. Uh, however, uh, highly cited articles in Europe PMC co correlate with highly cited papers in other platforms, and our citation information is freely available. Uh, and, um, another um, feature is that uh, you can um, also um, make a citation search so uh, when you see this cited uh, by the number of times this article was cited you you see that you have a link that will uh, direct you to a new search where you will see uh, all the articles that cited this part particular publication another way to manage your search results it's uh, oh, sorry. another way to manage your search results. It's uh, to use the filters on the left hand side of the screen. So this allow you to restrict your search uh, results to a part particular subset. Uh, the first uh, option in the content type filter from which you can select uh, only research articles, we show articles presenting uh, the results of experimental research. You can also filter the search to get only reveals, which comes along with a yellow label on the right-hand side uh, of the search result list. In the same way, you can filter your search to get preprints only, which will be labeled in green, also in the right-hand side of uh, your uh, of your search result list. So um, another way to sort your uh, your search results it's uh, accordingly with the accession options of uh, the publications. So um, you can, for example, you might want to return results only when the full text article is available for reading rather than just the abstract. So uh, for that, uh, for that, you can use the filter option free to read. That means the article is free to read, but not to reuse. Or you can use the filter option free to read and reuse. These are open access sub subsets of free to read articles and they are free also to use, modify and share. So you find uh, the free to read and free to read and use options lab labeled in blue. Notice that the different labels will be displayed in your search results even when you do not use the filter options. It helps you to intuitively identify the type of publication um, and assess options. So as well as um, 
as well as uh, all these other uh, previous filters, you also have a date filter option. Quite often, you might want to focus uh, on more recent articles. So you might want to limit the publication date range to the last year or to, for example, only 2018. So you can also set a custom date range uh, if you wanted to include publication within a specific period. Um, uh, another way to look at the most recent uh, research, uh, research is to apply for example, different uh, different uh, sort orders. For example, you want only reviews from 2019. So this will really uh, narrow your search a lot. Uh, now uh, we will give you uh, uh, now we will give an overview on how to look at uh, like a particular topic. How to do an exact citation search. The most common way you could look for uh, a public a specific publication would be to type the title in the browser and uh, as we said before we recommend to use a uh, quote uh, between uh, cite, uh, citation codes so it will just uh, show the publication you are looking for. Uh, another way is to use an identifier for the article, for example, such pub, PubMed ID, PubMed Central ID, or DOI. So you can search with this ID to return an exact match. In this example, we use the PubMed ID, and here you can see uh, the, the same publication was retrieved. So you might need uh, more advanced search options if you are doing a comprehensive literature research, for example, for a review or thesis or when starting um, like a completely different field. Uh, so the advanced search page uh, has several different tools available to allow you to do very precise search. So it provides a number of operational parameters. So as you might remember, the link uh, to the advanced search is right next to the search bar. So once in the advanced search page, we will find all those different sections from bibliographic fields to annotations. We will look at, we will not look at all of them as this is, uh, too much to cover in one day, but we will highlight some options. They might be particularly useful to you, but uh, we would suggest you trying different options after the webinar uh, and see uh, which kind of uh, search you can configure uh, with, with that. So here you need to, uh, we will use the bi uh, bibliographic field section uh, of the advanced search uh, and we will show how uh, you can make a very specific search using this. For example, here we will, we are looking in this specific journal, cell, stem cell. We want papers from this author, Proya, PA, and I know that there is uh, the keyword progenitor in the title. So uh, once I do the search, I will just get uh, exactly the match uh, I'm, I'm, looking, uh, I'm looking for. So uh, you see that the parameters that you type uh, in will be reflected uh, on the top of the advanced search page as a single query. So if you copy and paste the same text into the search bar, you will uh, not need to go to advanced search again. Uh, so you, the results will be the same. The advanced search form uh, sim uh, simply transforms your query into the one that the system understands. So uh, in this, like you can see in this example, you can also use advanced search uh, to search for keywords in specific parts of the article full text. For example, in the results or discussion or in the method se sections. So you can find this option on the advanced search page on the filters section. So you can uh, select the type that you are interested in and enter your keyword. 
So another common search is for the uh, works of a particular author. So in this section, we will cover uh, searching for authors and orchids as a unique uh, as a unique identifier for authors. Here's an example of a quick search for an author. So EROPMC automatically recognizes this as an author search and restricts uh, the results to those where the name appear in the author list. Um, so uh, you can use the author search field on the advanced search page. Uh, it, it, will, it will offer you some maps for your search. And you will realize that one common problem for any author-based search is the overlap between common names. So in this example, an author uh, search for Smith and GA will return these two articles with a quick, it's like with no quick and easy way to determine to determine which article matches with author. So one is James and the other one is Jessica, but which article correspond to each author. So uh, if the author has if the author has an orchid, um, the I'm sorry, if the author has an orchid, uh, this uh, problem will be resolved because then uh, this uh, I will see which publication belongs to to which author. So uh, and also to do the search, you will see that if an author has an orchid and the out suggest in our advanced search, we'll also display it as, as shown. So here you can see that an orchid, it's a long sequence of numbers and letters that uniquely identifies a particular author. And uh, an author's orchid can also be typed and directly into the search box, and you will get uh, a list of uh, publications from this uh, author. So, uh, of course, uh, for this to happen, the author they need to prev they need to have an orchid account account and have previously claimed their articles. So uh, as part of the search uh, result for author, you will notice that uh, you notice that there is this um, a box, not the box, but it's highlighted at the top of the search. Uh, the details of the author, like names, number of, number of publications, citations, and you see the option view profile. When you click in this option view. Uh, prof uh, when you click in this option view profile, you see that uh, using a combination of data provided by ORCID and our own citation network, we have generated author profiles for all authors in Europe PMC with ORCID. So the profile shows information about the total number of articles and citations and the graph and the graph gives you a uh, like breakdown for each year. And the bar chart represents the number of publications and the line graph the number of citations. As well as the metrics, the profile also shows the author's list of publications, which you can sort by the number of citations I show here or by date. Another key focus for European seeds leaking literature to the data to the data. So um, that's connecting research articles with the data and data and database associated with them. So what are the data behind the article? An article contains a story about the data and often the data this is described uh, the data described in a paper will reside in a database in a database. So for example, protein Protein bank that hosts protein structural information, um, while the European Nucleotide Archive provides nucleotide sequencing information. So there are different ways to cite the data in an article. So uh, a good way to demonstrate how you can integrate data with literature, it's uh, it's with the uh, Scilight um, platform. 
uh, where you can you will find uh, on the right uh, hand side of the article on top uh, an option called view key terms. So when you select these view key terms, uh, the Sylight platform will allow uh, biological terms and concepts to be highlighted for readers uh, on open access abstracts and full text articles. These terms, concepts and relationships are identified by text mining uh, algorithms and with, um, and with the reader able to select which highlighted concepts um, they want to see. So in this example, we highlighted genes and uh, genes, proteins, disease and organisms. So uh, when you stop your cursor uh, on, on, the, on the annotation of interest, a window with more information and a link to the data resource will, will pop up. So as well as text mining terms, uh, when database, re re database records are submitted or created, a uh, reference to the literature are frequently added. So uh, we make these links available via data section on the left hand, um, left hand side of the article page. In this example, um, there is a link for the biological study in biostudies and a link for protein structure and PDBE. Uh, as before, the links will take you to the record in Biostudies and PDBE website if you want to investigate it further. Additionally, the article page has other interesting sections like providing links to reviews, summaries, protocols and materials and similar articles. Uh, you can use the uh, you can use the uh, option data links and data citations in the uh, in the advanced search to select uh, to get articles that has date, data from specific um, database. For example, here you can select. For example, here you can select um, to get articles mentioning PDB accession numbers in the text or articles that have been created and can can be out. Campbell, um, and you can also select different providers by using the option external links in the advanced search page. For example, you can get a links to created statement in uh, Flybase only, uh, only, as you can see in this slide. An extra, uh, an extra feature in the article page is this section called citation and impact. From the, from, directly from the article page, you can use the citations and impact tab to see a summary of article citing this, the article, database records citing the article, and recommendations of this article. So along with the impact metrics, EuroPMC also displays these alternative metrics provided by Altimeric, Altimetrics and smart citations provided by site.ai. Uh, um, so smart citations will allow you to explore citations context. For example, you can check if uh, this article has been just mentioned or supported or contradicted. In this final section of the webinar, we will discuss how searches can be managed. So we will look at how to export information out of the search, how to save uh, the searches you do uh, frequently. So uh, another nice feature that we provide is the ability to save search queries. This is especially useful for queries they run frequently or for complex queries where you have added a lot of syntax or Boolean operators and, uh, and then you don't need to repeat it again. So you can just save the search once uh, and then you can just use the option save search um, button and then you'll be asked to, to search, sign in. So you can do it uh, by creating an European C account or you can use your ORCID or Twitter or Europe MC Plus alternatively, and then you'll be able to save your search. 
So once uh, on the search on the saved searches manager, you can rerun the search by using the link from the name um, of the search and also ed edit your, your, your saved searches. Finally, you might want to use the results of the search elsewhere. So you can also e export these results by using the op export option that can be found uh, next to the save search options on the top uh, right of the search result page. To export the results, um, to, uh, so to export the results uh, of your search, uh, you need to click in the search button and it will pop up uh, this uh, window where you will be able to select uh, the number of, uh, of citations you want to export and also the format of it. So uh, now uh, I will conclude this webinar. I hope these tips will help you to optimize your literature search from now on. But I again recommend you to give a try uh, and do some search after this webinar and explore more of the options in advanced search. We will be available in the chat box and I will have a look in the questions right now. And I will be answering any of your questions soon. Uh, if you, in the future, when you are using Europe MC, you feel like you have some questions, some suggestions, please contact us on helpdesk at europemc.org and also follow us on Twitter. So we will get to know new features 